Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here, MLO Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So I get asked a lot on how to export from Dream from Fireworks to Dreamweaver and, and how to go about doing that. So I'm going to show you some techniques you can use to um, in order to accomplish those things. Now, one of the main problems people have is how do I separate my content or my text from the background image? And that's a huge problem that people aren't really understanding because when you export like say this slice here in fireworks fireworks doesn't know how to separate the text from the background image so the main thing is you want to when you do your slicing like this in fireworks when you slice out all the areas that you want to become tables you come over here and you you have to separate your text from your your background images so all I did was create three different layers, text, background images, and then my main background. Okay, so background images here. Let me just zoom out. And so, and then I have my text, my content on top. So what I would do, I would hide my content with my slices turned on, and then I would, I would turn all my slices into PNG format, PNG32 format. If you come up here, let's turn it to PNG32 format. And then before I export, let me just make my background transparent and then I'm going to hide my main background. So I select everything. I just do file, export, and then let me just do HTML images, name the file name, uh, index, export HTML and images. This is uh, export HTML file, export slices. You select slices, selected slices only. Let's see, put images in subfolder. Yep. So you see that? So then I just go ahead and just copy all that here. And I just do save. So within, so let's go over to Dreamweaver. So here's my here's my um, HTML file. So what I'm going to do is go into page properties, turn the background color to black, just change my default HTML, um, my de default page font and size, etc. Hit apply, OK. So now the, here's my site. It's coming together a little bit, and so let me go ahead and. Uh, I want to center this because it's not centered. So I'm going to come over here to the main HTML table and just do align. Okay, so let's do a preview. Okay, so here's my HTML file or HTML page, and these they have these little sections as images right now in Dreamweaver. But I'm going to what I'm going to do is change if is turn what I want to do is get to this point where I see my content on top of the background images like this. So what I do is like we design beautiful things right here. This is a, I want this to be separate uh, HTML text. So what I do in Dreamweaver, I come over here, I select this image, I delete it, just hit delete and come over here or you see this little folder, you see background. Dreamer allows you to add a background image. So I'm going to go through here and find the image. There it is. I just created and made it a background image. So now I can go ahead and insert a div in this area and just do we design beautiful things. I can uh, I can then make this extra large, bold, and then inside my table here, I can do padding. I can do style padding equals twenty five. So then I can just change this to white. Okay, so let's do a preview. So 
so there you have it. That's basically the, the, the technique used to separate your background image from your text here. Okay? So basically you're going to do the same thing, the same technique used that I just did there for this section, this section, and this section. And all your sections that have content and text. You know, um, so I would come back into Dreamweaver here and I would select this area here. I would delete it and then remember, first off, I have to remember what name it is. It's um, index R3C1. So I just delete it, come over here, R3C1. And now I'm just make that area a background image. Or you can just make the background color white. It's your choice. And then you can add text on top and then you position it with divs okay also right here let's go to my my uh, logo here I want to export my logo so what I do is I hide my main background image I make my background transparent there and I'm gonna export this slice by itself so go into images I'm just going to do images only. Select the slices only and just do logo. And so in Dreamweaver here, let's go ahead. I'm going to select this area, delete. Now all we got to do is make this a background image. Find my logo. Select. Preview. Okay, so that's that's basically here's my sites coming together, my logo. I got my billboard area and I have content here that's layered on top of the background images, and then I can do the same for all these other sections. Then I'll add my navigation bar and link those together. And uh, or my links here. And I'm on my way. Alright, so that that's a technique used to export um, from Fireworks to Dreamweaver and how you go about separating your content here from your background images. All right, hopefully this was helpful and you learned a little bit from this. And if I spent another 20 minutes, I could get this entire site done, but um, I'm limited to, to time on uh, YouTube. So ask me any questions, shoot me an email, and um, I'll answer them for you, and we'll talk soon, all right? Take care.